This will be the SketchUp to-do list, and hopefully you've already picked a reasonable keychain idea and found an image and saved it to your desktop, like I have. So here I have the Goomba from Mario, and it's a good choice because there's not too many crazy different things going on, as opposed to somebody like Link from Legend of Zelda, where I'd have to be doing multiple layers. So this one's kind of a nice choice because it's not too out of control. I'm going to minimize that. So now we're going to make our layers and kind of plan that, so this video is supposed to explain how to get that happening. Once we take care of that, we'll be able to draw it layer by layer, doing your best to avoid creating a mess. So I spoke through all those steps quickly because I plan to spend more time on this step three. That's the point of this video. So we're going to plan layers using Google Docs. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and get a Google Doc open and we will call this the same name as what we're naming our project. It's like a different file, so it'll be fine as far as organization goes. If you know the name of your project, call it Goomba, or whatever your project is, and then we would put a dash and call this Layer Planning. Make sure the letters are capitalized appropriately and get it to match with mine. Same as the name, Goomba, layer planning. If you didn't make yours bold like mine, go ahead and do that. Unbold it, enter a couple spaces, and go back up and center this. Hit the pause video, um, replay what I just said, jump back to figure that kind of stuff out. Now I need to set up a table in here, but I'm going to wait for a moment because I want to tell you how to think about this. Now I have drawn this already with the purpose of letting you see kind of what I mean by layers. If I printed it all one shape, none of this would have any depth or anything, so I wouldn't really be able to make out the eyeballs if it was the same height of the shoes and parts like that. So when I look here, I can see that I've gone in and raised these feet up. I've kept the stem at a certain height. The head of the mushroom is there eyeballs, and then the actual pupils, I guess, and then eyebrows to give it, you know, emotion and features. But it's really like, well, which one should be the lowest level, and which one should be the highest level? So here was my lowest, and then I decided to put this as the highest. But I didn't really know all that until I planned it a little bit. So maybe the first thing I do is I look and I see all the different colors. Well, I got black, white, I got brown, and then a tan, but I kind of try to picture the end result. And to me, I see, I would think the stem, just like in real life, the stem of a mushroom would be lower than the head of it, which would be kind of fuller and all over the place. So here's my lowest level. My middle, I thought it would be cool to have the shoes and the head at the same height. I wanted the eyes to be higher than that, and then the eyebrows to be the highest. But it's not like I can just say low, medium, and high. I had to be like low, medium, high, highest, since there's four categories. So to me, as I plan this, I kind of see about three things to think about. So when I go to table in my Google Doc and insert table, I want to do three, and who knows, maybe I need six or seven rows. Do a click and drag in the middle of the cell. Avoid clicking here or here. That will resize it. You want to click in there, move over, and I'm going to make this text color white. Again, I made the text color white after choosing these three. Under more, let's give it a background and make that, that deep red or whatever it's called. So again, I'm still having these selected. I'm going to click More, and I'm going to go to the background color with the paintbrush, Paint Can, and make this that top left red berry color. And the reason I want to do that is because it's going to be a description of the first part. Then here, maybe I want some color slash comments or something. And then lastly, I want to say layer. 
Let's make that bold so it stands out. Now when I originally had my image, <clears throat> I didn't really know that my drawing would pan out this way. I had to do some planning ahead, right? So maybe I just listed all of the separate parts. So the first thing I see, I see a head. So here, type head. I also see eyeballs. And maybe that description is not clear enough to call it eyes. So maybe I say white over here to make it stand out. Because here when I say eyebrows, maybe I place black so I know what's going on there. I have the stem, which is tan. I also have the feet, which are black. Now I'm going quickly. You have that pause button to figure out what's going on. So I guess if I wanted to color the head and I just say brown. Now looking at this, which one should be the most shallow of all of these? Well, I kind of pointed out that I think the stem would be the lowest. But then maybe I want to decide what the highest would be. Well, I think the eyebrows would be the highest. And by working on those lowest and the highest, it kind of helps me narrow down my choices for these guys. Now when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I want the head of the mushroom and the feet to be at the same height, so I can go back and combine this with head and feet, brown and black, and merge these two while trashing that one. By the way, did you see how quickly I did that? I did a click and drag, grabbed all three of these, and just pressed delete. Maybe I call this one middle, because I know that it's higher than the lowest, but not as high as the highest. Then I look at the eyes, and I'm like, well, I'd like the eyes to be taller. I don't want my eyes for this one to be sunken in, so I'm going to call eyes high. Now I did that really quickly. You have this set up. It's for the Goomba. So maybe you can just copy it, paste it, and let's say you're making Link from Zelda, or maybe you're making something from Overwatch or another game. You know, just replace that and try to do your own planning. But then as a final step, I think it'll also be like one lowest, two middle, three high, or highest and the whole purpose of this pre-planning is going to really help your drawing be a lot more neat because when I go to my SketchUp drawing and I've worked on this layer by layer by layer if I look at this from below there are no gaps nothing has been messed up there's no harm in watching this video a second time it'll help you out but again we are just planning the layers using Google Docs so that is what was done in this. So at the end of this video, you should be looking back and forth, and I'll type this in red, with your image and Google Doc open, jump between both images, both the image and the table, building as you go along. So pre-plan to make sure you know how to move forward. That's it. Hey.